up next, a UFC lightweight division bout. Power, power, power. As he makes the walk tonight, no denying what he'll be trying to do to unleash some of the more devastating kicks we have seen in the UFC in years. Just brutally powerful. And oftentimes, he'll do major damage just by landing one or two kicks to that lead leg or to the body, thereby changing the complexion of the fight. You talk about guys like Tiago Alves, Jose Aldo Jr. Enter this young man. Scary, scary power on his kicking game. It's a rare skill for a fighter to be able to stand in the pocket and avoid taking significant damage. But if you've watched the film on this young fighter, that's exactly what he's able to do. He frustrates and exhausts his opponents, and he stays pretty relaxed because he's so defensively sound. He uses movement and defense to set up his offense, consummate sticker and mover. He gets his head off of the center line, and even when you think you have him in a compromising position, more often than not, he's able to swivel that head and get out of harm's way. This guy has outstanding defense. And having that type of skill, knowing that you can protect yourself and yet still land devastating blows of your own, it is a distinct advantage. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, Butcher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, Hoodoo! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Steve Lavigne. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Here. We go. Nice. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Hard kick lands. Oh, big kick to the head. Oh, flying knee. Tony lands the Superman punch. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Caught him with a punch. There's a kick. Oh. Wow. Oh, he got clipped there. He got hurt. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Oh, the fence is shaking after that slam, Joe. He's got one leg in, in between him, so he's in half guard here. Nicely done reversal. Establishes full mount here. Left punch is good. Three minutes in our opening round. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. There was a nice exchange. He faints with the kick. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looks like... Big oh. left hand! He's got him hurt here. Oh, man. Beautiful sweep. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. And he connects 
with the punch there. He got lit up. Look at that nasty jab. Yeah, and here he goes again. In half guard. Well, he gets up again here, Joe, but he looks hurt. And he che he's checking every single one of those. Oh, he's got him hurt here. Oh, very nice. And that's a powerful kick. What a jab. Straight ahead. Oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the bell. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the horn. And now, a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool. And he's only got 60 seconds to recover here. So we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. And let's look at that from another camera angle. Carly Baker in the building tonight. Thank you very much. Ready? Ready? Fight. All right, round two. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Even when you block those, they'll still stun you. Escapes from the full mount. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Total strikes. And there's a nice kick. Wow! Kick KO for the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, you want to talk about execution, and he just couldn't have done it any better than that. He is known for his kicks, and that was just a perfectly placed and timed kick. Full force, landed flush, full extension with the leg, and you knew that if his opponent didn't get the guard up, that was going to be the end of the night, and he went good night. Here we see it again. Boom! And he's out. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. All right, let's go inside the Octagon where Bruce Buffer has Gabriel the official Gabriel decision. Has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Butcher. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. It's a UFC lightweight division bout. All right, talented fighter making the walk here tonight. I will be surprised, Joe, if we see him put on his back at any point tonight. Incredible takedown defense, great balance, very solid base, an outstanding sprawl that's very quick and athletic. And for a lot of fighters, they waste a lot of energy trying to bring this man down. Got to think the smart approach will be to see if you can get the shot early. But if it doesn't materialize, go to plan B. This guy's takedown defense north of 90%. Some of the best takedown artists in the world have failed to take him down.
This guy is one of the toughest guys I have ever seen inside the Octagon. His ability to absorb punishment and then come back from it is just absolutely incredible to watch. So, Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, we have to start with the kicking technique. It's excellent. Doesn't telegraph anything. Gets his foot to the target as quickly as any fighter on this UFC roster. More often than not, guys don't even see it coming. He attacks that lead leg beautifully. Opponent certainly is wary of those lightning-fast kicks coming in here tonight. This guy has tremendous ground technique, and his ability to pass guard and get to a dominant position is elite. Now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, Richie Boy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, Bam Bam. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Ready. Ready. Go Round one. It. right to not tap out ultimately he chooses to go to sleep but offensively near perfect execution on that submission beautiful transitions clearly loose with his hips and everything he did on the ground was near perfect technique as he ultimately gets the submission win tonight and one last time super tight choke and he's out And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. 
Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Bruce Buffer to wrap Ladies it up. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotti has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 16 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission, leading an arm triangle choke. So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I got to mute those naysayers. And they're not going to keep quiet unless I can actually get this guy out of there. So mission accomplished. No judges necessary tonight. He gets a UFC lightweight division bout. Very interesting stylistic matchup forthcoming here. You gotta think this fighter is trying to figure out how to get the fight to the ground at all costs to use his beautiful guard cutting ability. Cuts it as well as anybody in this division. And it's not just the technique, it's the athleticism that allows him to be so successful and get that advantageous position on the ground. A lot of guys just haven't seen seamless transitions like the ones brought to the table by this young man. We'll see if this fight goes to the canvas, if he has the advantage we expect him to have. this young fighter here, his kicks as powerful as anyone in the sport at present. And not only that, but he'll do major damage just by landing a couple of them. Oftentimes, all it will take one kick to the body just underneath that elbow or a kick to the lead leg, and you can change the entire complexion of the fight. Very curious to see how it plays out for this powerful kicker in this matchup tonight. This next guy has incredible takedowns, both timing, speed, and of course, technique are literally top of the food chain. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Hiding out of Manila, Philippines, Boom Boom. And now, he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, Kid Dynamite! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Here you go. First one. You ready? You ready? Let's well, go. what a venue this is for MMA. We are underway right here at Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. 
Good defense there. Lands oh, a big right hand there. Huge right hand. Nasty combinations here. Inside leg kick. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. He's picking him apart. Oh, he is throwing right that right with fight ending intentions. Switching stances here. He's looking for that elbow. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. That one hurt. Well, he walked into his opponent. Oh, he caught him in the left hook. Right here. Oh, big left. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh. That one appeared to stun him. He hurt him with that punch from the clinch. So what did you say about that mother punch? Both guys landing with conviction now. He is going after it here. And there he swung with a haymaker. He's got side control. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Just out of range with the head kick. Oh! He's in big trouble. The left hook hits home. Oh, another one. Oh. Oh, very nice. Big shots. Oh, another body kick. Oh, huge shot there. Oh, and he connects there. This one. He's in half guard here. Less than a minute to go in the round. Lands a giant kick. That's a big hook. How about that chin? He tagged him again. He's hurt. Oh, he's stunned him down. He is rocked right here. He's trying to stay up. And now start to snap off that chin. And here a big shot lands and a knockdown. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. What an action-packed round. It looked like it almost ended on multiple occasions. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. If they continue it this way in this round, someone's going to get knocked out. Tags him. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, good job. Oh, he's hurt. Him. He's, hurt him. he's definitely hurt. Beautiful. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations. And that. Oh! He's trying to hang on. He's out! That was excellent timing here to land a big left hand to stop the fight. Yeah, Joe, a pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Let's see it one more time. Look at the power in this hook. 
as it lands for the knockout. And here we see it again. And he's out. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at one minute, one second of the second round. To play the winner by knockout. Boom, boom. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates. The matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. As hard a title shot to come by as there is in any UFC division is at 155 pounds. Here he is, the consensus number one lightweight title challenger, the number one contender, at least in terms of the rankings, getting set for a title fight here tonight. A lot of people think he is a live underdog in this championship setting. I guess we'll find out here, Joe Rogan. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. Here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Steen. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. <laughs> This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, presenting the challenger, the king! And now, introducing the champion, this man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Shot Oh. 
All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. All right, here we go. Will we crown a new UFC lightweight champion here tonight? It is time to find out. Just missed with a huge kick. He got tagged there. That one hurt. Oh, how about the multiple strikes landing here? That is a serious offensive barrage. In half guard position. Changes his stance. Good shots by the champion. Oh! Closing the distance here. Oh! Good power left kick. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to side control. He's got full. Oh, no, half guard. He switched back to southpaw. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Big punches. Another shot. Under two minutes now to go round one. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Good control, postures up. Eats a, a nice right hand. Lands oh, a big elbow man, there. that is rough. Attempt. Oh, and he lands another takedown there. He's already landed several in the fight and really doing a great job with these takedowns, not telegraphing his shot back to the canvas now here. Absolutely. Perfectly timed sweep. Ten seconds. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Four oh, seconds oh. for the end of round one. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. And here's a devastating punch that results in a knockdown. Great, great round, great round, great round. Now, next round, I want you to finish him, okay? He's hurt. I know he's hurt, you know he's hurt. The lovely Brittany Palmer is with us. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. This is going to become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent going to be able to do to him. Oh! Wow! This could be it. The champion is hurt here. He is in big trouble. There's a nice inside leg kick. How about that chin? Whoa! Man! Oh, he missed that kick. He's in trouble, he's in trouble! Oh, he's hurt again! Nice takedown! Oh, straight right! And they 
separate. Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open for that returning hook there. He would be wise to start moving his feet, get on the tips of his toes, and figure out a way to get that head off the center line and out of harm's way. Oh, double jab. He's got good accuracy on that jab. That one hurt. Oh, he got tagged there. Looking to avoid that left hand. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, man. Look at his nose. Try to... Shot here, Joe. Oh, he hurt him again. Oh, huge right hand. Wow. What a fight. All right, Tennessee, you okay? All right, all right. Breathe. We've been here before. It's okay. We just got caught. I need this round to be sharp. I want your defense on. You got caught because you're getting. Here's a look at some of the action here. And here a big shot lands and a knockdown. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Several near fight ending moments in that round. Lots of action. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. That last round was absolutely insane. If this round gets off to anything like the last round, one of these guys is going out. I can't imagine a scenario where they continue where they left off in the last round, but one of these guys doesn't get knocked out. Well, you didn't... Excellent movement here on the ground. Now he's in full guard. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh. He's getting tagged. He's out. Unbelievable. He threw an incredibly large volume of strikes, but this last one was the big one that landed for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Look at this. Crank right on the jaw. So what a knockout from the UFC lightweight champion here tonight. Under the bright lights, he rises above the pressure and gets it done in a big way to be the UFC lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 18 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still.
So there he is, the UFC's undisputed lightweight champion. That's the way he came in, and that is the way he goes out. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he is the best 155-pound fighter on the planet. Gets the win by knockout here tonight, and, and maybe it was just how emphatic a finish it was that is resulting in such a big celebration in that corner. Congrats to the team and the still UFC lightweight king.